Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me. And yes, you can make fun of me. I'm starting to try and make mods, teaching myself Giants Editor with the help of a lot of YouTube videos and my uh, train sign. It's a little large here at the uh, Hubbard Station where you can pick up the Amtrak uh, right down Main Street. Uh, this is a big step for me. I realize it's nothing in comparison to the mods that are uh, being created out there by uh, the modding community. But hey, you got to start somewhere. And I did start somewhere with my first 16x map. This is Hubbard, Nebraska by TX uh, Czar. Uh, and it is amazing. Now, I understand that very few people uh, have the opportunity to play a 16x or a 64x map because it's difficult. There's not a ton out there and the majority of the maps we get are 2x for all platform or mainly 4x. When you get into the 16x realm, things get spicy because you really need a system with some horsepower to run it. Uh, and I built a new computer and it's got a little horsepower. It's not a lot, but it's got a little bit and it's running this map beautifully though. And I thought I'd give you a farm tour because I think I've actually found like a really happy place between realistic farming, relaxing farming, and the time frames in Farm Sim because I never have been able to get it right where, you know, do you play a five day month or a three day month or a, I, you know, I don't know, I'm on a seven day month and I'm playing it 6x time, and it's working out beautifully, mainly because I do have over a thousand acres of land to farm. And I've said that before in some of my pre previous builds, but I was nowhere near accurate there. I'm actually accurate here. 16x map, my little section of this map is like 1,100 acres. And let's go out and take a look at it, and. As we're driving, you can see how long it takes to get out here. I'll go ahead and throw the radio on and listen to some tunes while we cruise to the farm. And here we are. Yes. Again, I'm modding. I'm learning to mod. I'm not modding. Come on, let's not kid ourselves. I'm putting new textures on some existing mods, but this is really exciting for me. Uh, finally able to do a little bit of custom work on my farm, and this is it. We are in the far, far northwest corner. In fact, I'll show you. We'll hop into to the PDA. This is Hubbard. This is a 16x map. Uh, you were with me when we talked about the train. I put a train on this map uh, and actually released that save game already. It's on my itch.io page if you're interested in it. Way up here by the Ventana Nuclear Power Plant, there's a train uh, distribution uh, area and track that runs all the way around the map. Uh, very, very cool. and. 
we haven't even gotten to my farm when we did that episode because I hadn't built it yet. And well, it's right up here. And when I was talking about field size, well, take a look at this. So this field right here uh, was my grass field. Uh, I've, the only field that I have so far done anything with. Uh, when I click on that, let's see here. We double click there and that is a 20 hectare uh, field which i think translates to something like 80 acres it's a big field and you add everything up and it's well over a thousand so let's just walk around the farm i'll give you the tour what the heck so you got my sign on the entryway here uh, and most of the grass uh, and alfalfa uh, equipment is in here. I'm using a, a 7310R uh, with a front mower on the front, an a, a ELO, a ELO, it's a Duet 7300. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I did have to combine a couple things because it's just me on this farm. And I needed to balance time with efficiency. So we're cutting and I'm also tedding uh, on the back to make hay. And then I can come in and bale after I, in fact, my windrower's not in here. I need to go find that. But I've got a 4955 old John Deere uh, with a John Deere baler on the back. I'm not doing round baling because, well, it would take forever uh, I tried round baling first, and it was taking forever. So uh, we're square baling. That's okay. Uh, bin site. Uh, it's a kind of a combo site. So it's got a uh, itch.io mod, a Meridian uh, bin site for all of the crops. But then over here, it's got a separate corn dryer, a Brock dryer. This is on itch.io as well. Uh, there's a lot of corn. I figured we would need to dry it. Haven't tried it yet. I think it will work. This was a silage field that I cut. Um, we cut all of this, and I'll show you the bunks that are over on the other side of the farm. There's like 3,000 cubic yards of silage corn that we cut. Um, it's massive. It's huge, and I love it. Um, it's this is an 80 acre field. I, th I think I take I take that back. This is the 80 acre field. This field over here is like 50 acres of grass. And then, okay, here is the wind rower, a nice old school case Magnum 225. Got this once again on itch.io. I get most of my mods from itch.io or the in-game mod hub. We've got the Millennial Farmer Shed Pack, which is available for all platforms. Uh, in here, let's take a look at inside, see what type of equipment we're running. I think I've got to come over here. We'll jump in. Yes, here we go. So, uh, 9870 STS with some uh, floaters on the front. This is kind of like, I'm really not going to probably be using this much because this head is so skinny. It would, again, take forever. And the hoppers, I have not modded these hoppers yet, so they are basic, I think, 400 bushel hoppers. Yeah, I need to go in and edit the XL XMLs. Uh, and over here, the new S7. So this is an in-game mod hub S7. I can't remember the exact name of the modder who did this, but a really, really beautiful combine uh, with some great detail on it. This is all platform. We'll start it up on the inside of the... Um, can, okay, can I... I thought you could... Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, you can open it up just like that. Turn it off so we don't get too much diesel exhaust in here. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, detail on this mod. Uh, and that is in-game from the in-game mod hub. Very, very, very cool. I've got one of Buck's trucks here, a Silverado. It's a, a CK30. Uh, i got some dualies on it and a Meridian... Uh, fuel tank on the back, 990 gallons there. Uh, next to a, what is this? This is a, I think a 2014 9620R in-game mod hub once again with some LSWs on it. Again, I've got a combination of John Deere and Case. It does not matter what color you drive, as the song says. 
Uh, and then this is my planning tractor, an 8370R uh, IVT. This is uh, 400 horse, right on the right on the money, I think. Uh, In-game mod hub once again. So you know, I get a lot of my mods uh, from itch.io that are PC only. But then I also get them just from the in-game mod hub because there's some really really good mods out there. We're coming up on the on the. Uh, uh, release of FS25, so modders have had just many, many years to really make some awesome mods for 22. Chickens are free roaming out here. Uh, I've just thrown up, you know, a little area for them to get some feed. Uh, I think I've got like maybe 150 chickens. Uh, one of OKU's mods, uh, old rusted out barns. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Uh, we're making eggs, which is great because I need the money because I haven't told you this. Well, I've got a big, big loan. You know, we use Easy Dev and we build these farms. In fact, we'll jump into the game editor right now, or the map editor, excuse me, and you can kind of float around. You can see I've got $1.77 million in the bank, but I initially used Easy Dev to get myself a ton of money. But, there's a but, because if you go in here, I used a new mod that's available, and it's called the Enhanced the enhanced Loan System. Oh, and while this saves, uh, 16x map takes forever to save. It's actually quite comical. Uh, but the Loan System, so you can see in here, I now have two loans. So I've got a $200,000 loan uh, out for my house. That's a 36-month loan at 3.5%. Um, that's a three-year loan. It's a really short home loan, but I think that was the way it started on this mod. And then I've got a $12,500,000 loan. That's a 3.4% for 20 years. So these are fixed rate, uh, basically like annuity. I think that's the way it works. You pay you know, one price every month back to the bank and that monthly payment is spicy seventy two thousand dollars so in total i've got to at least come up with 78 grand just to break even that's not counting my insurance and all of the other you know little odds and ends that happen to pop up uh in the month but that's okay because we've got a ton of cows We've got a ton of crops, and Meg's got a massive garden up at the house, and prices are actually really pretty good in Hubbard. So I might have to make some modifications to that loan a little bit to sustain <laughs> playing the game, but uh, this is the first time I'm actually truly using a loan um, in that fashion. So again, used Easy Dev, built everything, and then I basically took a loan out, set my money back at like $1 million, and away we go. In the cold storage, uh, old, old F-350, uh, pulling the true corn head on here. This is a 16-row corn head. Uh, very, very expensive. Very, very long, and it'll go on that S-7. Then I got a, uh, a honeybee, so that, uh, what are they, the flex, the air flex heads with, like, every gizmo and gadget you can think on here. It's got a dual, like, channel crary wind system on it. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles, and it, too, is massively long. That S7 will uh, use that. Gotta have my service truck. Love my GMC square body. Uh, and then a lot of this stuff I pulled from Convoy Ohio, so my N54542C uh, uh, planter or cedar. And, and then I've got this 1755 uh, over here, or 1775, excuse me, NT. And, you know, we were using a lot of this stuff in Convoy, and I was getting angry because my system was not handling it. I was on that Mac at the time. It's so nice to be on a PC and just have fluid motion. We're in 1440, and I'm seeing, when I'm recording, I'm pretty well locked in at 60 frames a second just because that's what the uh, capture software uses. But when I'm playing the game, I'm seeing 300, 250, 300 frames per second. It is absolutely awesome. What do we got over here? Uh, this 
is mostly all in-game mod stuff. Except for those harvestors or those uh, silos, uh, those came off of uh, an itch.io page. I believe they're the JMF silos, and they're the ones specifically for Maze Plus. Um, yeah, I got Maze Plus on. We'll see how it goes. Absolutely love this old uh, beater truck here. This is Snake Bizzles. I think this is Snake Bizzles, or this is... Gosh, you see, my mind has gone crazy. I can't remember the modder of this right off the top of my head, but I'll link it down in the description. This is an amazing, amazing truck with some absolutely great sounds to it. Love it, though. Um, what do we got over here? So, uh, 4440, bale tractor, you know, pretty simple power shift. Uh, and in here, this is commodity storage, so everything from molasses and water, things that you need for that maize plus uh, mixture. Uh, we've got a little com or combine, we've got a forklift. Uh, and over here, right now, I've got chicken feed, and then this is more chicken feed, I think. No, this is, what is this stuff? This is, it's in German. It's chicken feed. No? I don't know what that is. I don't know what I bought there. Maybe I should get one of the products that I can actually pronounce. The Durka feed is... I can't pronounce it. Um, I think I've got a mod that I've downloaded that is some U.S. seed and commodity items. So I might switch over to that. In here. Hey. Um, Brewer's Grain. I think there. Maybe this is Brewer's Grain. I don't know. With uh, We'll have to run over to the feed mixer, but with Maze Plus, you're not just putting you know, straw, hay, and silage in. You've got silage, and you, you've got these, these recipes, and you've got to get it just right, and it's far more realistic. It's just difficult, but I'm trying to really force myself to do this because, again, I've I think this could maybe be like the end of the road for... Now, no, I don't want to say that, but you get the idea. 25 is going to be coming out. This might be the map that I close out 22 with before 25 arrives. And I'd be totally fine with that. It's that good of a map. Uh, what do we got? Okay, John Deere wheel loader over here. 624K. Uh, Again, this was in Convoy, and I was so angry because everything was just stuttering, and you could not play the dang game. I can now. It's so nice. Uh, and you come in here to the red barn pack. Uh, we've got the feed mixer. I've got a 6 series 6155R with a bucket on the front. And this is where you actually get uh, your silage from. So we've got um, maize, fresh maize in there that's fermenting into maize silage. Uh, and I'm using the Anderson a950 and oh, there's okay so there's the the mixture you can see this this is a mod that pops up you walk right up to your uh, mixer wagon and you can see this now let me turn this on let's hop in the old alice this thing sounds amazing by the way i think i mentioned that in the uh convoy videos that i was doing but listen to this turbo i feel like she's turned up a little bit just just a little bit I think it is. I think it's 180 horse in this. It's got a little, little juice. My, uh, I have noticed, so only, again, nothing's perfect, but I've noticed my, sometimes the textures, they don't go blurry like they used to on my Mac, but they flicker. And I think I've read somewhere that people get flickering periodically. It might be a setting that I've got. Again, I'm running max resolution for everything at 1440. Uh, and I, again, I'm got if it's I'll deal with flickering. Totally fine by me. Uh, but if we come in here, and I think I got to go Y, and that changed the okay. Yeah. So here, this is a different feed here. So now I, the base feed was there originally, but now you can see it takes mineral feed, filtered water, molasses, potato cut, beet pulp, alfalfa hay, and maize silage, and that's what gets you. Uh, your total mix ration, and you can see why that takes a lot more time and effort. We'll see how long I do it. I may switch that back to just the base game. Uh, 
We'll see. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's go... Oh, we didn't see... Yeah, you gotta look at the crap spreader over here. We've got a uh, Hydra Ram HR550. Uh, Pike right. Got this on itch.io, I believe. And we're running the uh, 8950 uh, Case Magnum Welker Farm Edition. I just don't have the Welker Farm stickers on there. Beautiful, beautiful tractor. I go back and forth between old iron and new iron. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the old stuff, though. It just it has character to it. Uh, as far as implements, so... Again, all this stuff you've already probably seen. It was... Uh, on Convoy, uh, and, you know, all I'm talking about Convoy, where'd Convoy go? Okay, Convoy's still there. Uh, it's on my Mac. I can't get it to run on the Windows machine. It gets 85%. It doesn't go any further. That's my old, uh, you know, it was No Man's Land that we custom built Convoy Ohio on. Uh, I can't get it to load. I've... I've dumped the shader cache, I've gone in, I've removed mods, I've, I've tried, it just, it doesn't go past 85%. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's going Mac, the PC, the save guy, who knows. I'm not going to give up on it, um, but it's really hard to go back when you're, like, on this system. I know. Uh, what do we got here? This is a case uh, disker 490. Someone told me that those are the, like, the uh, uh, Euro, uh, and, and they are the Euro uh, signs on the back, but I thought this was an American disker, but I could be wrong. Uh, then a little skinny uh, 110 disker from John Deere. Got the vertical tillage uh, 2660 uh, deer, uh, that's what the 9R uh, will probably pull, uh, and then this, what is, this is a, this is a, I can't, I think this is classified, let's take a look at it, it's classified as a plow, but I think it's also a cultivator, but it's a John Deere 13 shanks, I don't remember where I got it, but it's a 712, might have been Indian Mod Hub, but I have a feeling it was itch.io. This big guy uh, is in-game mod hub. The 255 Tiger Mate by Case. Massive, like, 18 and a half meter um, width on it. And that is what you're going to see my big Steiger is going to pull. Because, again, I don't discriminate on red or green. I got John Deere's in here. And across the farm, I got Case way over there. We got Alice Chalmers. We got everything. Uh, and like I said, at a you know, you saw this the 225. This thing sounds really, really good too. I got this on itch.io. Sounds straight pipe to me. I like it. Uh, let's run. Uh, we looked in there. We've looked in there. Oh, we you know we didn't look. We didn't look over here. So you're probably going to go, oh my gosh, what the heck happened? There's usually a house up here. Uh, again, I'm teaching myself, Giants Editor. I'm going in. I'm, I'm watching a ton of YouTube videos. Really, really helpful watching uh, the modders out there. And I loaded this map in Giants Editor, and I took out this house. I think you could hide the house, too, with the hide object function, but I just wanted to see what it was like to go in because I've... You know, I read Facebook posts and whatnot of folks that go in and delete certain things from mods. I'm not going to release this. This is mine. I wouldn't do that to the modder. Um, you know, there's a whole etiquette involved, and in, as you're modding things, this is just for me. Um, but took out this house, and there was some power poles in here. And now we've got, uh, you know, a little shop. Might put seed in here with the skid steer. Uh, these are legacy ag. Uh, or it is a legacy ag um, uh, tool barn. Very, very nice. Uh, I might, again, could put some seeds in here as well. And then got my chopper. So this thing has really put in work. It's a John Deere 750 or 7500 with a, I think it's a six meter wide uh, Kemper cutter on the front, chopper on the front. This thing is really, really cool. It's done a ton of work already. It's already cut 80 plus acres. And we've got it in the box. Cleaned it up, though, because it was a mess. 
And then we've got uh, 6259R. You got to have just another 6R, right, with a with a uh, uh, pallet fork on the front. Absolutely, very very important. And then the old Kodiak. Love these things. This is in-game mod hub. This is very very recent. And this is an amazing mod. Really really like this. Great detail. I've always liked this um, body style and brand of. Um, of trucks. I remember when I was a kid, you know, U-Hauls used to be um, this particular body style. Had cat diesel power in them. I always had that little cat diesel power sign on it. I always thought it was so cool. Now I've got one. So just a great, you know, flatbed truck to, to haul things. I've already used that going to the store many, many times. All right, I think we're done with this part of the farm. Let's run over and I'll show you uh, we saw the manure area over here. I've got uh, some um, liquid manure here, slurry, in a tank. And, you know, I got to love and use uh, 182 Studios trucks with a tank on the back. I don't know if I'm going to actually use slurry to put down in the fields. I might just sell it. You don't get any money for it. But what the heck, we've got a truck here to haul it. Then we come over here, and you can see these two bunks. There's a shed to the left. We'll get to that in just a minute. But these two bunks, this is all of the silage corn that came out of that 80-acre field. All of it. I did not load this with easy dev. I promise you that. I did use a helper, but all of this came out of the field and if we take a look at it i think i need to do this and again we'll you know we'll wait for it to uh to save we'll you know put a little i'm just gonna go for some like game show music there but i don't think i have any playing uh, again you can see how long it takes uh for that to save but we come in here and we turn on the uh, help window. We, oh, you know, it's not the help window. It's the dang... We gotta turn the HUD back on. Okay, we're at 2,850... 2,857 cubic yards of fresh maize is in here. And this big wheel loader is making noise. The Lizard 9800K. But uh, it's only at 50% compaction. We're using a uh, versatile and that wheel loader as well. as I don't, you know... If you're going to have all this equipment, you might as well get yourself a dozer. Um, Got to get that compacted down and then cover it up because we need silage for all of our animals. Oh, and yeah, over here, 8410. Love this. It's the 95s, 270 horse. That's what was pulling these carts. And these I did modify. I didn't go crazy on the XML on these. But I did need to modify them a little bit so that I wasn't like one row, like one down and it's full and one back and it's full. I think I would be, uh, you'd be real farming at that point. Uh, it, it'd take you forever on the game. Over here, Millennial Farmer uh, Shed Pack. Again, get a Demco flatbed. And here's where all the semis are. Got the Demco cart. Uh, we've got the big old 540 Steiger. Uh, we've got a uh, 350 a Case Patriot sprayer. And then my trucks are back here as well. Uh, Pete's Freightliner and Volvos. Um, the only one that's available for all platforms is right here, this Volvo. And that's, look, that's not a dig. That's a really, really good truck. We're very fortunate to have this for all platforms. Modder did a spectacular job uh, with all the detail. It is honestly just as good, if not better, than some of the uh, PC-only trucks that are out there. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, Wilson Pace Setter. That is an unrealistic capacity, and this Demco is realistic. And then we've got the fiber uh, sprayer trailer. And can I jump around here? Yeah, I barely fit. Uh, and then we've got some animal transport right here in the form of that Wilson Silver Star. I think that is a modded version. You can get a few more uh, animals in there. So that's basically the equipment on the farm. 
Let's jump over to the house and I'll show you where I got the house set up. Should we just run? Yeah, let's run. I actually love, um, I've noticed the way, so I used to, when I would run, like when I would turn on, uh, you come in here and you turn on the running multiplier and you go to like five or six X. When I used to run, things, it would just jump and stutter and it would make all sorts of terrible, it would feel awful. And I still get a little tearing now and again. It's probably like, I don't know, a V-Sync thing or something like that. I think I've got that turned off though, but it's just nice to be able to make all these quick, crazy motions. I'll stop that now and turn that off uh, and not have crazy amounts of stuttering. I've got one horse. This is the uh, Elk Mountain Ranch uh, barn. I just can't enjoy horses. If you had tons of horses, you had so much time riding them. I love, 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 love horses. But I just want one. That's really it. it makes me happy. Um, and then we've got apple trees. I tried apple trees in Convoy and it never worked for me. They're working great here. Um, just got a really basic utility uh, tractor over here. A, kind of a compact. It's a 4700, I think. Uh, Massey Ferguson, CVT Trans. Really, really nice. Two-wheel drive, perfect for over here for Meg to use. And then I've got the newly released John Deere Gator that came out. I love the detail on it. I don't love how slow it is. It seems to be very, very underpowered, especially carrying weight behind it, uh, water. But again, the de may maybe it's more realistic that way, the fact that it's slower. So I'm sticking with it. Uh, um, yeah, we'll see. And then we've got my apples. This is the apple orchard. You put in, um, this is compost. You put in water and you do fruit fertilizer and you can get apples and they sell for a pretty penny. And it's just nice to come in the driveway and see apple trees. And yes, I deleted that house as well. There was another house right here uh, that TX Czar put on. I just got rid of it because I want to put my own house in. Speaking of house, Snake Bizzle is on a roll recently making houses. Check him out. He's got a, just a ton of free mods out there available for everyone. Uh, and then, yes, he does have a Patreon page. I'm not going to get into the whole paid versus unpaid. I appreciate that he has put out a ton of mods for free. Again, I'm just not going to get into it. He's a great modder. I like this house. Um really really like the stuff that, that he's putting out you get to choose uh you know how you want to support modders and and how they uh release their mods maybe someday i don't know giants will come up with a better solution i don't know what it is because i get it i'm seeing all the time that it takes to put into a mod just simple mods for me I cannot imagine the hours upon hours of time that's put into this house or an advanced tractor or combine or map. Think of the 16x map that's here. And it's released for free on someone's itch.io page. They've got it, it's a passion project. Uh, and I get that. So I can't always be mad when someone needs to maybe make a little money on something? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, again, I don't want to get into it. I just I, I get that it's complicated. Maybe it will get easier as the additions of Farm Sim continue. Maybe not, and we'll be stuck with this for the rest of our lives. I don't know. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful house. It's a, you know, I usually do these massive mansions, and this is just like a three-bedroom ranch. Um, far more fitting for this particular farm, bathroom, uh, main bedroom, kids room, everything opens, everything works, some really nice paintings, um, come out here on the back porch, and you've got a fire pit that you can turn on, ooh, you can almost feel the warmth, um, I got my doggo, Gypsy, I need to change that name. Need to make it my actual dog's name, uh, and just a nice, nice garage, a little, little probably one-car garage. Uh, but I've got over 
Um, across the way, my what would be my cool guy garage. We'll put some stuff in here. Maybe not all the way done with that. Um, and then Meg's uh, compost pile, which is massive. <laughs> Uh, but that's for her apples and her garden, which is over here. And that is this farm. And, you know, it's fairly small, I think, in comparison to if we jump in here and we turn on flight mode. Uh, let's turn all that off. And we take a look at the actual fields. Um, this map is massive. So, again, on paper... That field right there that we have already cut is 80 acres. This one, I think, is, again, it was 20 hectares. I don't know what it's like 50 acres in, in uh, the U.S. increments. I own all the way back to here. So to the road, these are my fields. Over here, these are all my fields. There's the town power plant is way off in the distance. You can't even see it. Um, basically, this entire section that we're looking at right here um, from screen to screen, left to right, is this farm. And I'm going to farm it. And it's seven day months at 6x speed. It's September. We're coming up on harvest season. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. Um, and then we drove by. Um, so I do have some animals out here. There's a... Uh, I think I've got 20 head of cattle in each of these small pastures. Um, which is really, really cool. But then up the road... And this is what I love about this. So when you're, when you're driving, it takes forever... But the undulations, the up and down, the the uh, you know the the scenery is just so beautiful. We keep going, and we get to here, and we see that you know I've got more animals back. I don't have any animals here yet, but I've got pasture. This is all mine as well. Um, and you can just look around. You can see how much detail and time was spent making this map and. I'll show you a little area over here. So this is the far north corner of the map, or the north end of the map. Um, and this really, it's a, such a small detail, but it was really, I don't know, it meant a lot. Like, it, it, you could see the passion that was put into it. You come down here, you've got to follow this little drive to get to these other fields over here. Because, yes, he does have fences up that you cannot delete just in the map editor. Um, you'd have to go into Giants Editor to delete them. But you follow this path around, and you come over here, and you just see this massive detail. And then you go online, and you look at Hubbard, Nebraska. Because remember, this is a real town. These are realistic fields. And all of this is there in real life when you check out Google Maps. Um, really, really impressive. Uh, and I might be... Biting off more than I can chew. Look at all that corn. Uh, but it's going to be a ton of fun. And I'm just going to play it and record some stuff. Probably do some lives. Um, try, we'll try and get Convoy to reload. I don't know if we'll ever revisit it or we'll ever get it to work on the PC. Um, but for now, this is Hubbard, Nebraska. And it's just about time to jump into a combine and start cutting. And for me, I have to be good and not modify anything. I am terrible at that, but I've got to try because this is a really, really cool farm and I think will make for some good role play here in Farm Sim 22. Maybe the last of some of the Farm Sim 22 series before we get the release of 25 in November. So that's it, the tour of the farm. I'm going to get back to work. Until then, we'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Stovers.